hub and spoke model is one I just want to explain to you because it's used a lot in the literature. And what it means is that there's a hub, usually it was an urban hospital setting that gathered patients from the neighboring counties and they would come in after getting a referral from a physician or a psychotherapy office. They would screen people. They would say, okay, we need folks that are mild to moderately depressed. The suicidal people, the depressed and anxious people would get screened out. So they have a very clean group. You can be the hub as a clinician. And you can now reach people in your entire state or whatever states you're licensed in, for the most part. The model, though, started very conservatively with only dealing with previously identified patients. They typically had an in-person assessment. Now, this is changing. Now we have high definition. We can see people more clearly. It's more reliable than it was 10, 20 years ago. So things are getting better and better. But initially, there was only in-person assessment. And you would get a very detailed and documented referral request. If somebody needed help and you were the expert, then you would be called in, but you weren't just called in cold. You would get a referral and you would be given a little bit of background on the patient. The records would be available to you. You might be able to see this person was hospitalized three times before. The patient was the originating site, the clinician is the distance site, and oftentimes was a community collaborator. Somebody in the community could really help out, kind of the eyes and ears, legs, you know, who can get things done in the local community when it's needed. But also the client, the patient was pre-trained by the staff. So they would come in, sit down, and the technology would work. It wouldn't be on you to teach them how to use the technology. So the technology is stable. As a matter of fact, there's typically information technology specialist on call the entire time. So if the connection went down, they'd be able to help you out. Every time we take a step away from that original model, which is very steeped in research, now we're taking more risk. All right? So you want to be careful about how far away you move from that research base.